Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing the Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean Limited Edition by Jersey Jack Pinball today. Beautiful table. Please look for a review underneath the description of our YouTube video, as well as like and follow us on our social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as YouTube. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? Anything but that. So that ramp first off, Black Pearl, rocking Black Pearl up there. And then you got two flippers up there, another flipper to your mid left, and then two flippers down below. So a pretty stacked layout as far as flippers are concerned. First impressions, right out the gate. Soundtrack is good. Tables rock and shaking. Playfield art is clipped, that looks good. Got a spinning uh, center uh, area of the playfield right there, which is the map spinning around. Coloration of the table is good. Side work looks great. The the LCD screen, I mean, the bits that you get, digital bits, CGI, as well as the sound bites so far have been really good. You have an area where you kick it all the way to the back. It says chapter start, and a peg comes up, and it's hitting those targets back there. It's got a magnet that kicks that ball around like crazy. And so now we're going into the chapter. That lane goes all the way through kicks out to the right side. That lane right there is a kind of loopy, kind of goes around into a uh, 90 degree, spits the ball right back out. Artwork looks really good on this. I see why there's a lot of people, I see why there's a lot of people that like Pirates of the Caribbean, and the reason for the reason for that is because it is a very, very good-looking game. Sound bites are good, replayability on it's good as well. High ball out on this thing though, so obviously you go through coinage very, very quick. Just balled out again. That's how fast this is. It's a high ball out uh, game. Got some pop bumpers underneath the black pearl. So I can go back to chapter, so you kick it back there and magnet kicks it around. A proper mermaid. Again, we are on location at Tappers in Indianapolis. So again, sometimes you know you can play through, sometimes you can't. High ball out again, back to my point. So you also got a ramp that says Mail Storm right there. Kind of goes down into a funnel right there and kicks out. To the Habit Trail to your left end lane. You got a lane that goes all the way around that's Devil's Triangle to the back of the table. You got the Black Pearl, obviously, ramp. That Habit Trail to your right end lane. You have a scoop, which is on the right side of the table and the left side. There's the Deaths on the left. On the right, there is the Mystery. So lots of shots. I will say that the flow of the game is is, is pretty decent. Uh, you do have a lot of blockage to the front with the ramps there. They're pretty wide, and so you got to be pretty specific with your shots, or you fall out. Uh, the other thing is that middle flipper right there. If you saw that, having your flipper up, you go to the bayou. So keep that in mind. Tobacco and that lane that I just shot it down, which is Port Royale, goes all the way around its orbit. Shoot the chest to lock a ball. Only two characters to get. Uh, third flipper, if you hit it straight through, there's a lane there that whips it back around. The game is beautiful, though. Another deck. You can also hit it up that third, the Port Royale, and it kicks it out of a spinner to the top, which is the Black Rose. And you got your two flippers up there. Artwork is great. The theme is awesome. High replayability on this game. I see why people love it. It's difficult. I'd say this is a moderate to, to light high difficulty, which is going to keep your attention. And plus, the shots are there too. You got a ton to shoot at. Narrow lanes to get through. That that adds the difficulty up. But all in all, great table. Beautiful. Uh, what I would say is if you're going to have something, I see why people want it for home use and they buy it for home use. It's because this table really does deliver. Got 
catch your most of the ball, play movies, chapters, and multi-ball down to the bottom. So you got the Curse of the Black Pearl, Dead Man's Chass, at World's End, Stranger Ties, Dead Man's Tales. Got another high score on this machine, believe it or not. But with that said, please look for our review underneath the description of our YouTube video. Uh, if on desktop, you will see a show more underneath the video. Go there, that's where all our metrics will be written out for you guys. Uh, on mobile, click the triangle that's upside down in the headline. It will drop out from there. Beyond that, thank you again for watching. This is a beautiful game. Definitely, absolutely play this game if you're in route. And beyond that, please subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.